Alaska for Noonday Prayer. Blessed be the Lord who forgives all our sins. Whose mercy endures forever. As children of your redeeming purpose, we are called to share Christ's suffering and be made like him in his death. We offer you our praise. Christ, give us grace to grow in holiness, to deny ourselves, take up our cross, and follow him. Give judgment for me, O God, and defend my cause against an ungodly people. Deliver me from the deceitful and the wicked. For you are the God of my strength. Why have you put me from you? And why do I go so heavily while the enemy oppresses me? Send out your light and your truth that they may lead me and bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling, that I may go to the altar of God, to the God of my joy and gladness, and on the harp I will give thanks to you, O God, my God. Why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul? And why are you so disquieted within me? Put your trust in God, for I will yet give thanks to him who is the help of my countenance and my God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our reading today is from Paul's letter to the Corinthians. I do not want you to be unaware, brothers and sisters, that our ancestors were all under the cloud and all passed through the sea and all were baptized into Moses in the cloud and in the sea and all ate the same spiritual food, and all drank the same spiritual drink. For they drank from the spiritual rock that followed them, and the rock was Christ. Nevertheless, God was not pleased with most of them, and they were struck down in the wilderness. Now, these things occurred as examples for us, so that we might not desire evil as they did. Do not become idolaters, as some of them did. As it is written, the people sat down to eat and drink, and they rose up to play. We must not indulge in sexual immorality, as some of them did. And 23,000 fell in a single day. We must not put Christ to the test, as some of them did, and were destroyed by serpents. And do not complain, as some of them did, and were destroyed by the destroyer. These things happened to them to serve as an example, and they were written down to instruct us on whom the ends of the ages have come. So if you think you are standing, watch out, you do not fall. No testing has overtaken you that is not common to everyone. God is faithful. And he will not let you be tested beyond your strength. But with the testing, he will also provide the way out so that you may be able to endure it. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Lord, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, mercy. have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, Father who, who art, art in heaven, heaven Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. O God of grace and mercy, give your blessings to the Diocese of Alaska. 
watch over our churches, sustain our people, strengthen our leaders. Through the Holy Spirit, guide and guard the diocese, keeping it always under your care and protection. Let us be a loving family, serving you in faithful devotion to the gospel of your Son, Jesus Christ. Give your blessings to Mark, our bishop. Give him a spirit of courage and right judgment, a spirit of knowledge and love. Let your Holy Spirit be his companion. Let your gospel be always in his thoughts. May your presence in his life be a light for all to see in every good work for the building up of your people and to the glory of your holy name. Give us the blessing of your example. Help us to follow in the way of Jesus today and every day. Give us compassion at the center of all we do. Compassion for ourselves as disciples still young in faith. Compassion for others as members of our own family in God. Let us become examples for others, as so many others have been examples to us, through your love and for the sake of your glory. Watch over all elders and the brothers and sisters of the Society of St. Simeon and St. Anna. If any are in time of sorrow, sickness, or need, Give them the touch of your healing hand. If any are in times of joy, thanksgiving, or fulfillment, give them the song of angels to praise your name. Let us be your servants in this life, just as we will be your sons and daughters in the life to come. We pray today for all of the people in harm's way in Ukraine. We pray for those who have gone there to provide aid. We pray for wisdom to rule over hate and fear. We pray for all today who are fearful for a loved one. Give them strength. Give their loved ones strength, whatever battles they may be facing. You may offer your prayers and intercessions at this time. God help me out to her difficulty that she might receive the correct diagnosis might be properly treated might be able to return home soon we pray for Terry that she too uh, on relief from her medical treatments uh, a proper diagnosis Prayers for Gail and for Terry for healing. Amen. Amen. We give thanks for safe travel for Michael and Talitha to go to their comfort and go out of their family. Prayers for Michael and Talitha for safe travel. Amen. Amen. Our service today is in honor of Richard Allen, the first bishop of the African Methodist Episcopal Church, who died on this day in 1831. Richard Allen was a minister, educator, writer, and the founder in 1816 of the African Methodist Episcopal Church, the AME, the first independent black denomination in the United States. He was born in Germantown, Pennsylvania, into slavery. And at the age of 17, he bought his freedom and that of his brother. At the age of 26, he became a preacher at St. Michael's Methodist Church in Philadelphia. But he was restricted to early morning services. As he attracted more black congregants, the church vestry voted to build a segregated gallery for use of blacks. Allen and Absalom Jones, also a Methodist preacher, resented the white congregants forcing them to a segregated section for worship and prayer and decided to leave St. George's to create independent worship for African Americans. Loving God, who 
makes all your children by adoption in Jesus Christ. May we, following the example of your servant Richard Allen, proclaim liberty to all who are enslaved and captive in this world through Jesus Christ, Savior of all who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May we never walk in solitude or fear, but the fellowship of the Spirit warm our hearts, and the love of the Savior bring us joy, and the shelter of the Father's arms forever keep us safe. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Working and praying, may we walk in the way of the cross each hour of this day. Amen. Amen.